What's going on, Bruce? Ladies and gentlemen, Snorlax Scarlet and Violet 151 stamped promo is now over eighty dollars. Damn! That's twenty dollars more than the MSRP of the ETB just one year and two months ago. Literally, the promo is already worth more than the sealed product was a year and two to three months ago. Wow. Um, Chonky Boy, Charizard SIR from 151 is over $150. It's game over, man. It's game over. Gray Felt Hat Pikachu. That's right. Van Gogh Pikachu is on today's list for the first time ever, I think. It's actually going up in price. That's right, guys. All right, uh, quick, quick little two, two little things. One, I'm switching it around on you, okay? I'm, we're, it is the hottest cards of the week, and so we're actually going to start for, for, for this series, from this moving forward, every week moving on, we are going to actually start with hottest cards of the week. And then we'll recap last week's hottest cards. Because, again, here, we, this isn't just a one-shot thing where, you know, I give you 20 minutes of somewhat entertaining uh informational content and then you forget about it we like to actually learn stuff here we like to keep track of raw cards see how they do the following week and keep track of cards that week after week are going up in value problem is there's 35 of them on this week's recap so i'm just gonna save it for the end because everyone's always more interested in the here and now and what is going up in value right here and now this week so we'll highlight charizard we will highlight Snorlax, which have already been on previous weeks, the last two and three weeks specifically, but we are going to start with this week's hottest cards. And real quick, Pokey Positivity September is sadly behind us. That doesn't mean Pokey Spookativity October can't be in front of us. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, in all seriousness, the Derpy Qs. Uh, the auto derpy cues you guys liked those way too much so and i know how much you guys like like limited availability limited quantity whatever so i made six more derpy cues just for halloween over the next six videos and for those of you that actually want to win one i'm going to make it so y you have to type derpy leave a comment as derpy or write derpy in your comment and that way i don't accidentally pick a winner that couldn't care less about a derpy cue signed card all right but yeah so derpy cues are back for six then maybe they'll be back at Christmas. I don't know. But let's get into this week's hottest cards. Okay, so right off the bat, everyone's talking about it. So I just want to show you guys the Obsidian Flames ETB Charmander. The stamped one is going for $649.99. This is sold. Sold on October 10th, okay? And the regular, even the regular Obsidian Flames ETB promo is going for $150. Again, sold October 10th. Here's a 150, 150, 150, 150, 150. Here's a stamped one, 550. But you can see the most recent on these Charmander promos, 650 for the stamped, 150 for the regular ETB from the set everyone thinks sucks. Obsidian Flames. Okay, now let's get into Chonky Boy, fully evolved. A Charmander. So look at this crap. This is insane. Uh, I kept saying, what's it going to do once it cracks 130? What's it going to do once it cracks 130? First time it went down to 120, and the second time it did, you know, kind of what I said, what was it last week? I was like, you know, is it, you know, it's like 130 was like the cap that it kept hitting and, and bouncing off of, and then where does it go after it clears 130? Who knows? And right now it's at 150 six guys the pretty healthy average daily sold as well it's been consistent with the average daily sold over here on the one month you see nine on the three you see seven eight and nine so for a hundred plus dollar card it's been con very consistently bought and sold um yeah yeah I know. so we have 150 comfortably the second most expensive card in the era now all right so and again this will be on the recap because this has now been on the on the uh you know this week's hottest cards for like three weeks in a row same with this one. It originally appeared two or three weeks ago, but it shot up so darn much. Let's go to the one month. $83.08. So again, guys, this was a $59.95 ETB a year and two or three months ago. And you could have bought four of them. And now, you know, even on that, you're, whew, I mean, you're up a lot in a year. Okay. So 
these these stamp promos are doing what a lot of us thought they'd be doing but but my god the snorlax so by the way before this huge price jump with the snorlax the uh the pokemon center what was it the uh Squirtle, yeah, sorry, the Squirtle. So the Squirtle is 70 bucks, 75 bucks, and that was the most expensive Scarlet and Violet promo other than if you want to count, uh, you know, Van Gogh Pikachu. But uh, this was then 66, and then Charmander jumped up to 66, but then this shot up to 83. So now this is now the official, by far, by like $10, the most valuable Scarlet and Violet promo, so long as you're not counting uh, Van Gogh Pikachu. So there you go. All right, so those guys are doing amazing. And hey, look at this, Pelde Evolved. Remember that Pelde Evolved reprint? I, d I don't. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so it went down. You can almost see here, if I pull out the six month, that little dip that you see right there, this is when all the Pelde Evolved reprint chatter occurred. And then that is a perfect representation of how Pelde Evolved the set actually handled the reprint. It just went right back up. So Magikarp. Pele Evolve, uh, it went as low as 104, okay, on September 29th, and here we are two weeks later, and it's up to 117, $118, all right? Very good for Magikarp and Illustration Rares in general. And speaking of Illustration Rares in general, from Pele also in general, uh, T-Tar. So here's the thing, uh, I have to, I had to look into this because there's an error on the volume bar here. So here, first of all, uh, you know, just last week it was 26 bucks. Now it's $42. That is a massive, massive climb, as you can see. And if you look on this one-month chart, what you see is something very strange. So I looked into this. It says 44 items sold on October 3rd. Thing is, October 4th is when actually a majority of these cards were sold. And somehow a bunch of sales from October 4th and 5th all got grouped into the same volume bar that's representing October 3rd. So what I'm saying is, is that this hike, this uh, the way this chart is represented, looks a little funky. I mean, even if it was to be displayed accurately, it would just be slightly less up. It would just be an upwards trend over the course of three days, not one day. Um, but yeah, on October 4th and 5th, I guess I can show you real quick, not October 3rd. Um, and I've noticed that they seem to be, the volume bars and the actual sale dates seem to be off by a day. So when you look at the chart and then you go to reference, it was actually on 10-4 that all, a large amount of these sales occurred, including there was like two for 44 bucks. There was uh, like three or something for like 50 bucks, but it was pretty much all on the fourth, not on the third. So all I'm saying is it looks like manipulation and it looks like a huge buyout, but it, it actually was a lot of singular and you know two purchases over the course of three days. Still could be a buyout, I'm just saying. The chart looks weirder than it should look. But again, sorry, so we were at 26 bucks and now we're at 42 bucks for T-Tar. And Raichu is still down, like at 30, 30 bucks. Like Raichu didn't all of a sudden shoot up as well. Okay, Ninetales. Ninetales can't get enough. Ninetales was on this list a month ago? Because yeah, 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 about a month ago. August around there, Ninetales shot up, was on the list for a week or two, and then fell off and disappeared. But now Ninetales is back because Ninetales is $15.54. So again, people are just loving this cards, and people love Scarlet Violet 151. Average daily sold to seven, and I guess we can pull it out real quick. Look at the one year. You can see all the way back in March, it hit 1588, and then it's at 1560 right now. So it had a way, f it had a way more aggressive climb and fall, as you see here. Let's see if we can see this. Nope. So if you go back here, you see it jumped up rather quickly and hit this mark, whereas here it's a lot more gradual. A lot more, uh, <clears throat> just a lot more healthy uptrend, not as aggressive and just woo. So I don't know. Maybe this is supposed to be a fourteen or fifteen dollar card after all. But there's nine tails for you. Do to do EV Twilight Masquerade. All right, look at this. First of all, don't look at that chart. The three month is busted, but the one month chart. So you can see here last week it was sitting at forty six dollars, forty five dollars on October third. Now we're up to fifty six dollars, and again it says fifty four items sold on october 6th let's uh here let's pull back a little its highest was 61 and we're up to 56 so we're getting we're at almost a six month high we're almost at touching its all-time high to be honest all right so let's go back and it was 10 6. 
Look at that. There's a $65 sale right there that I see. There's a $60 sale. Do, do, do. There's another $60 sale. Do, 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 do. I just want to go to 10.6 and see if they're all on 10.7. Because I want to learn this stuff too. Because sometimes the things, yeah. So it said 10.6, and you see three total sales on 10.6. All these sales are from 10.7. And a lot of high sales on 10.7. So yeah, the volume bars are just ma not matching up perfectly. But nevertheless, on the 7th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 54 items sold. And it is up 26% on the, was that one month chart? Yeah, on the one month chart. Okay, now let's get to another, another stamp promo. Funny story, so I ordered four of these. And two of them came without the Pokemon Center promo. And it literally took three and a half, almost four months for Pokemon to send me my replacement to to my promos that were missing. Ugh. Uh, yeah, there's more I could say about that, but I won't. But now I have all four of them, so we're, we're good. Anyway, Pikachu Palais Evolve Stamp ETB promo. Uh, just last week's 32 bucks. Now it's up to 35, 36, something like that. Let's pull back a little. Basically, for a pretty long time, we'll go way back. Let's really see. So $20 all the way down to 16 and then in June, it started from 20 and this massive uptrend in June from 18 all the way to 35 and it's at 35, 75 and again, just jumped up an extra three or four bucks this week. This is, this is probably my favorite of all of them just because of how standard and happy it is and it just represents the new era well and I don't know, the Mariah and Crydon ones are fine, but this was like, in my opinion, the first really good one. But yeah, all right. So now let's go to Van Gogh Pikachu. So let's go all the way out just right off the bat here. So because, yeah, so you can see the full story here. Almost the full, yeah, pretty much the full story. It's been a little over a year. So 172 in October, and then woo, all the way down to as low as, what do we see, 80? We saw like 83 right there. All right, now let's zoom in a little closer. So there's 89 on the sixth month was the lowest. I would zoom in a little lower. So three months still 89. Now you can see just in the last two or three weeks went from 90. Now it's up over 100 and it's $104. And just in the last week, it went up almost 10 bucks. So gray felt hat Pikachu. Everything about this card it represents everything that is bad about Pokemon. So I hate this card and I think everything about it's stupid. I know a lot of people love it. I, I just think the way that everything was handled at that uh, that museum and the lack of staffing, it was just such a cluster fuck. So, I mean, this is this this Pikachu card just reminds me of a cluster fuck, essentially. <laughs> All right, so best deal banger. Here's our best deal banger, guys. It's Miriam from Scarlet and Violet Bay set. So why? Because Miriam is under $20 for the first time ever. So here's the one year. Miriam's been as high as 35 bucks on the one year and recently as high as, well, 35 bucks on the one year. But Miriam, for the first time ever, just in the last day or two, let's go zoom way out. So where are we at here? Yeah, just in the last, well, just in the last couple of weeks, finally dropped under $20 and is $18 and 66 cents and you know this used to be the chase card this card used to be worth a bazillion dollars in japanese uh, it's a very nice looking card it's one of scarlet and violet base sets most pretty beautiful uh just overall it's cool cards pikachu cameo it's under 20 bucks so i'm just letting you know will it go down lower probably probably not i don't know will it be a 16 dollar card next week maybe just letting you know if you still need miriam you can now get miriam for 20 dollars. all right all right, let's get in to now, like I said, last week's hottest cards. All right, so I'm definitely going to speed run this because, again, we got 35 cards, but I'll throw up a picture of every single card for you, but I'm going to talk fast. And once again, if you've never seen this before, every single number represents a week, and the amount of numbers represents how many weeks. And weeks ago, it was featured as this week's hottest card. And, yeah, so anyway, here's the board. Charmander IR. From 151 is now up to 40 freaking dollars. That is an all-time high. Charmander 
Literally is 40 bucks. All right, let's keep going. Squirtle sideways at 34. Umbreon, poor man's Moonbreon, down to $6.20. See you later. Power Glass Hyper Rare from Shrouded Fable. It's up just a little. It's mainly sideways. I might even just knock it off if it stays there. Who cares? Terrapagos, pronounced like Terrapagos EX Double Rare from uh, Stellar Crown is down to 13.42. See you later, Charmander. The PC promo we already kind of talked about this. Looked at the PSA 10 prices. It's up to 66.89, so it went up a tiny amount, and not even close to what the Snorlax did. Pidgey, 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 Pidgey IR is down to 7.90. See you later, Dragonair IR. That's also an all-time high, 22 dollars and 41 cents. I should have wrote all-time high there. Dragonair is doing very good. Charizard EX, the most beautiful, most embossed, most awesome, just uh, full art, is basically $40 now as well. That's an all-time high. Charizard EX, Chonky Boy SIR, we already talked about him, 156 66 all-time high. Metagross IR from Temporal Force is down to 1082 See you later, buddy. Basic Metal Energy from Shrouded Fable, that's up to 2470 I pulled that one. <laughs> Basic Darkness Energy, also from Shrouded Fable, also Hyper Rare, is also up to 2769 a dox bun, not dash bun. It's pronounced a dox bun. EXSIR from Stellar Crown is moving sideways two weeks in a row, so I'm probably going to knock that one off. Snorlax PC promo already covered that, $83.08. Garchomp V, Trainer Gallery from Sword and Shield is down. See you later. It's so sad. I want to see a Trainer Gallery card do well, but it's not happening. Umbreon V Max, Moonbreon, that's up again, 978. It's marching on up to 1000 bucks again. However, Rayquaza, uh, Rayquaza, Blaziken, uh, Gengar, you think there might be some vicarious uptrend? Not so much. Rayquaza is moving sideways. I don't know. Maybe see you later. I'll make sure to check on it next week. Dragonite V Altar. This is the best of all of them. It's up again just a little. 143.44. Charmander, the ETPD promo. Again, PSA 10 is $150, and it's down a little to $889. So that is more than a 10x your, your return if you get it in a 10. Charizard ex the sir from obsidian flames is down just a little 45 it seems to love being a 42 43 44 or 45 dollar card it loves that spot pidgeot ex sir down uh, well quite a bit that's what happens with playable cards they go up quick and they go down quick and they go up quick uh, it's down to 1196 see you later nine tails ir down to 1163 i love you but see you later walking wake ex sir from temporal forces it is I should have made that yellow. That's sideways, but, you know, it's up a little. $54.85. All right, we are almost done. Prime Catcher. Prime Catcher went way down, almost like people are just now finding out. It's about to be reprinted in a big way. Sauzbuck IR from Temporal Forces, down just a little. Yeah, just a little. Same with Deerling, down just a little. Uh, 9 to 9 and 7 to 7, whatever. Dragapult EX, full art, another very cool, very embossed, very awesome full art. It's sideways, literally sideways, didn't even move. That's a goodie! Is down just a little, uh, you know, sideways. Dusknor IR, I went out and bought Dusknor and Duskull just uh, like a day or two after they were on this week's Hottest Cards. I found them listed at the prices a couple days ago, so I'm not going to lie, I got 10 total dollars off between the two of them. Like, I think I paid 25 for Dusknor. No, I paid like 22 for Dusknor and like 20 for Duskull. And it's 28 and 25, so saved a little money there. <laughs> but yeah, so du again, Dusknor, 28, Duskull to up to 25. Vaporeon, VMAX, Sword and Shield promo up just a little to 41. Jolteon, the same thing, uh, up to 42. Flareon, still not on the list because Flareon still ain't budging. And Raku V from Glaring Gallery, Crown Zenith is down to $20.96 and our best price banger from last week was Mew V the alt art from Fusion Strike that's right and it's up just a little to $30.86 all right guys that's all I got and look all the videos I do I'm just going to say this right now one time like like yesterday's video about the the preview for Surging Sparks those videos take me like two hours total to do and, you know, thousands of views and blah, blah, blah. These videos take a ton of time. These videos literally take me several, like several hours. And because there's like 40,000 Pokemon cards, they could take me literally forever if I wanted to. So I am going to ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe because the amount of time I put into these videos versus the ad revenue, it ain't even close. This is just for passion, just to give you guys good information that you can actually use and help to make you know, better Pokemon card purchasing decisions. And yeah, that's the whole point of my channel.
is to help you master set, help you collect, and help you make better raw card decisions. And until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Deuces. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it!